Hey everybody, Charlie Nine Two here, and welcome to Paradise Killer. What do I know about Paradise Killer? Well, I know it is a detective slash investigation game, and I know the music is supposed to be awesome. Other than that, I have just been recommended by some of my viewers to play it. They said it's a great game and they enjoy it. I've also been told by some of my viewers that I may not enjoy it. So we're going to give it a fair shake. We'll give it about five episodes or so, see if we enjoy it. And if I'm having a good time, we'll go ahead and continue on with a full playthrough. So this is the first time I've booted up the game. Let's quickly go through. I am not using a controller. It is detecting settings. Rumble doesn't matter. Let's check out the options real quick. General. Uh, Rumble. Mature content. We're going to leave that off for now. Let me know in the comments if that's nudity. If it's just like violence, that's fine. But nudity, obviously, we can't have on YouTube. So we're going to leave that off for now. Highlight names, yes. Evidence assignment. I don't know what this means. We'll go first time only and just see what that means. Accessibility. Sprint AR mode. Is that augmented reality? Meditation. I don't know what any of this means. Screen shake, we're going to turn off. Rotating backgrounds is fine. Flickering lights. I may turn that off as well. Sometimes that gets a bit annoying. Auto walk is off. Excuse me, i got to clear my throat. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm just getting over um, being sick uh, for the last couple weeks. It's cedar fever season here in Texas, and uh, there's been some, like, crud going around with my kids' schools. So, you know, that's why I haven't been uploading the last couple weeks, just trying to get over that. Today's the first day. I'm finally starting to feel a little better with that. Really, that on normal for now. Type in sound, sure. Color correction, day-night cycle, yes. Uh, controls audio. I'm trying to look for... Um, Subtitles sometimes is in audio, sometimes is in general. You would think it would be in accessibility. Did we see subtitles? Maybe there's not voice acting. We'll just have to see. Display I'm running at 1080, borderless windows 60. That's fine. Frame smoothing, sure, whatever. Motion blur, turn that completely off. I can't stand motion blur. Ray tracing. I mean, we can do ray tracing. We'll give it a shot. DLSS, uh, we could put that on uh, balanced. DLSS is awesome. Sharpening's fine. All right, and then uh, that's display. What's up with graphics? Things on ultra, volumetric fog. Okay, I thought this was a 2D game. I guess maybe it's not. Sure. Um, let's do a new investigation. Paradise Killer. Let me know how the audio balance is. I can actually boost this a little bit if we need to. Welcome, investigator. You will soon enter a paradise where fact and truth are not the same. Explore paradise in your own way and find your own truth. Paradise Killer has a wealth of accessibility options. Please tailor the experience to best suit your needs. Paradise Killer does not auto-save. All right, we got to remember that. You must use the save points on the island. Saving a record of your existence is free and easy and leads to a happier paradise. The Syndicate created the first Paradise Island to worship the dead alien gods. Guided by leader Montserrat, the Syndicate attempted to resurrect the gods by forcing citizens into psychic worship rituals. However, the worship invites demonic corruption from beyond the stars. Hold on, I'm going to just stop right here. I thought Paradise Killer was going to be like we were on some, you know, romantic tropical island and there was a killer. We're already talking about dead alien gods and psychic worship rituals. Are we going Lovecraft with this? Because I am all in. However, the worship invites demonic corruption from beyond the stars. The islands always fail. Islands die and a new paradise island is born. The cycle repeats. All right, hold on. Let's, let's unpack this a bit before we even go any further. The syndicate created the first paradise island to worship their dead alien gods. So the syndicate is separate from the islands. They create the islands to provide worship for their gods that are dead. Why would you want to worship a dead alien god? 
Leader Syndicate's Lord Montserrat. Oh, they want to resurrect the gods. Okay, I know I read that, but it's reading it and like understanding are two different things, right? So they want to resurrect their dead alien gods, so they create these paradise islands and force people into psychic worship rituals. Okay. Um, but the worship invites corruption. So, okay. Islands always fail. The islands die, and a new paradise island is born. Cycle repeats. All right. I think I got it. This is the 13th island, I'm assuming. Island sequence 13. Lady Love dies. The syndicate's lead investigator is deceived by the god Damned Harmony. She endangered paradise. Her sentence is external exile. Uh, we're talking about when we were saying she, are we talking about Lady Love dies, their lead investigator, who was deceived by a god and then was sentenced to exile. The island cannot be saved. Demonic corruption began to infect the fabric of paradise. The island died. The citizen's slaughter ritual took place. Oh my god. Another paradise island failed. The cycle always repeats. So on 13th cycle, Lady Love dies, betrayed the syndicate by being corrupted or deceived, and has been exiled. Okay. I guess we have to hit E. can't just click down there. Lady Love dies. I think that's her name, right? Watch from exile in the idle lands as each island flourished and died. Each iteration got closer to perfection. Okay, so they're actually making progress. The amount of corruption events decrease. Island 24 was almost perfect until Henry Division. Henry Division. Why are their names so odd? A lowly citizen got too close to the gods. He allowed demons to flood the island. The citizens were once again slaughtered. The council began their meditation to end 24 and birth perfect 25. But before they could complete it, Paradise was killed. Okay, so Paradise Killer means like the whole island was killed. Oh, I didn't read that. Sorry guys, I was trying to, trying to reflect on what I've seen. Games like this, it's important to kind of like really absorb everything and really understand everything. So we're in a bar. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a lot of text, isn't it? I'm hoping it's not Ace Attorney levels of text. Hee hee hee. By the way, I will not be doing uh, voice acting. I will just be reading. I am not a good voice actor. The crime to end all crimes. I do like the... Um, the like noir music that's going on. A little smooth jazz. This blend tastes different. The islands define the whiskey. So the islands like a simulation then. This one definitely tastes of embers. I just noticed the uh, font is slightly different color for each person that's talking here. She put the fire out. Was it a cosmic dream? No. They called on her, the exile. That's Lady Love Dies, right? They needed to. Okay, two people talking, male and female figures there. Um, born at the Longest Tower, Britain in AD 1000 under this sign of Kiss Me to the Moon? Okay, there's a lot to unpack here. The Syndicate's lead investigator, after the Damned Harmony incident on Island 13, that's the guy who got too close to the gods, the Paradise Psychic Unit was shut down, and Love Dies was exiled to the Idle Lands as punishment. Why does that remind me of Blade Runner a bit? 24th Island sequence. We know that the 24th one failed. We were already told the 24th one failed. So are we getting some backstory here? Hmm. Another day in exile. Okay, I might need to boost the volume. We'll see what happens when I click out here. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Another day in exile. Lady Love dies. I don't think there'll be a whole lot of voice acting in this. Kind of like, yeah, just first sentence. 
Something's wrong. I can feel it. Island 24 is supposed to be ending. Why am I still here? Okay, so they've already decided to end 24. I have a bad feeling about this. Do you now? Oh, we got a, uh, like a script over here so that we can go back and parse through words. Oh, is this, uh, yeah, we can move around. Okay, I definitely see what they mean about the music. A little janky as far as, like, frames dropping. Maybe it's because I got the RTX on. This doesn't seem like a game that needs RTX, but, I mean, why not show it off? Yeah, it is a little, uh, little hitchy. Maybe the V-Sync might have to cut that off. Actually, that's a good idea. Let's do that right now. Options, uh, was that display? V-Sync. Let's turn that off. Hopefully we don't get screen tearing. We shouldn't. Uh, yeah, we do. We got a bunch of it. Look at that. All right, let's turn that back on then. Uh, let's turn the V-Sync on. Let's turn that ray tracing off. That should help. I've got a 3080 Ti, but yeah. Not as shiny, but definitely not as hitchy either. All right, let's keep going. Um, I do want a 40 series for my desktop. I have one for my laptop, and honestly, my laptop outperforms this desktop that I've built. The only difference being that obviously the laptop is louder. Ooh, pick up. What is this? Wistful photo obtained. The outside of the Paradise Psycho unit before it was disbanded. Okay, so that was kind of like our headquarters. The last photo that was taken of me back on Island 13. This is so it was disbanded and then I was exiled. Fleeting thoughts, lost treasures, the remnants of lives lived, a vignette of another, a window in time. I'm assuming this is going to be the same for every wistful photo. This is just like what a wistful photo is. Yeah, dig in the digging the music and the aesthetic is just totally unique days since you were exiled three million okay so am I some form of God <laughs> what to, what is okay I'm glad I have the adult content off because I can go ahead and give you one guess what was going to be there Portrait of me painted by Lydia before I was exiled. Who is Lydia? Another psycho unit? Member? Wait, what is this? Okay. Lady Love dies. Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? The first person you've spoken to in three million days. Can you taste it in the air? Ooh, we have choices. Can we use up and down? No, we have to use mouse. Um, something's wrong. Are we worried or irritated? I'm, I would be irritated at this point. Irritated. Don't make me repeat myself. This feels like it's going to be a bad day. Cool it, love dies. You're getting a call. A call? Oh ho, you're in for a treat. You used to be the syndicate's investigator, right? They're talking about you down there. They need the investigation freak. So is this exile where I'm at right now? Time to get back in the saddle. Get out of the idle lands and get back to work. Exile is over. Yep, so we're in the idle lands in exile. And this is a messenger from the syndicate. Why? And it's a demon. Why is a demon in the idle lands? The name's, oh my goodness, it is Lovecraft. <laughs> <laughs> with the impossible to pronounce names. The name's Shin Uthuk Jigath. You could call me Shinji. <laughs> Just here to hang? I got no horse in this race. What race? Someone's made a move against the syndicate? People are betting on the wrong horses. What do you want, Shinji? Like a good bit of murder. It's a good time. The best time. Just here to watch the results play out. You got some solving to do, some investigating, some looking real hard, some good thinking. Time to weave some truth, love dies. Anyway, I gotta bounce. Go get your laptop. You're gonna need it. See you on the island. 
and he blew up. I have no idea what's going on. That little runt said I need to find my laptop. It must mean Starlight. Every investigator needs an assistant. Starlight is up by the barrier that overlooks the island. Sorry, I had to sneeze again. Still trying to get over this uh, crud that I had. If my voice sounds a little off, I apologize. I'm trying my best. So I think we're done in here. Open. Yeah, we just put skulls everywhere. That'll put everybody's mind at ease and demon statues. All right, so there's a bit to unpack here. Can we get in the water? I feel like we're walking or floating over the water. These are cool. All right, what is this? Well-read book obtained. A well-read book about an ex-gangster that decided to become a master of grilled chicken skewers. I feel like this game is going to try to be weird or absurd at every opportunity. And I don't know if I quite dig it yet. We'll have to see how it like blends into everything else. Relic was obtained. Same definition. So it was relic definition, not well-worn photo definition. Have to see how it plays out. This looks like some Sumerian stuff here. Nebuchadnezzar or something. All right, let's... Uh, I like the gold, though. Let's keep looking around. I knew I saw something over here. That's a weird graphic glitch. Oh, maybe it's meant to do that. Can we jump? We can jump. All right. Where are you? Can't quite tell. It's like a skull. Yeah, okay, so it's like a lion creature with tentacles holding a skull in its mouth. Okay. It's up here. Same kind of artwork theme, along with more skulls. All right, what is this? Dulled percolator obtained. Coffee doesn't taste the same if you're not working. You know what? That is true. That is a weird truth. It's like coffee is like a... Um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like a, a placebo almost. I know it does have caffeine, but when you're working, it's like a placebo to kind of help you get motivated to actually work. You're like, okay, I've had my coffee. Let's go. Myself, I normally bring an energy drink from home to drink at work each day to kind of get started. But if I'm feeling especially drag assy, I'll go get a coffee on the way into work from a little coffee shop on the way in. And it's like just a little extra boost of like dopamine to kind of like get me into starting the work day. Am I hearing a, yeah, like a ringtone. Oh, this is the laptop. Oh, this looks like very, uh... Oh, what was that game? Viewfinder. Looks like a viewfinder here. That's strange. Why? Why is Starlight unlocked? I'm assuming it was locked when the uh, Syndicate dissolved the Psycho Unit. Three million days up here, and now she's calling out to me. Key item obtained. Does it have a robot voice? An investigator's best friend, Starlight. It's been a while since me and the girl did the dance of investigation. Close. Uh oh. Is this the OS? I'm not reading all that. Press any button. Where's the any button? Welcome to Starlight. Welcome to. Whoop. Coming call. How do I answer it? <gasps> Judge, are these are the syndicate going to be like biblically accurate angels? Because that'll be kind of cool, mixed with the uh, outer god stuff. A phone call from Judge is unexpected. Lady Love dies. Madness has overtaken the island. That happened a long time ago. The council were murdered as the new island was born. The council. That's strange. Is this a prank? 
leader Montserrat is dead. The counselor dead. This is no joke. A killer tried to take everything from us. The syndicate is about to collapse. You need an investigator and you're in luck. My diary is pretty empty today. Lady Love dies. I have authorized the use of Starlight. Take her and come to the island. Investigate. Your exile is over. The prison doors are open. I have a bad feeling about this. Judge, the barrier's still up. The door to truth will open. Starlight can dance her way through it. Fall down to us and breathe life back into paradise. And you want me to just fall to the island? The islands haven't changed. The fall won't hurt you. Step off into the abyss and drop into the island. Lydia will be waiting for you. Time to breathe life back into paradise. Lady Love dies. So are we an angel? Hmm. Okay, I don't see anything else here. It's a weird, like, speaker here. Nightmare computer? Nightmare computer. Oh, we got some puzzles. A nightmare computer from the depths of space that uses as language born on a long dead world. Okay. I'm glad to be back. The syndicate never upgrades. Starlight can emulate the OS and break down the components used in the symbols, but I need to work out how they are used. Haven't seen these symbols before. It looks like hieroglyphic based language. I need to find a clue to which symbols release the lock. Brute force it with trial and error, but I'm a busy woman now. You know, brute force is always kind of my forte. Starlight can see the answer. I need to work out how to make it. Some of these parts should make the symbol I need. I need to select components from the ones available and match them to the top image, completing the puzzle. Top image. So we need the cow skull. What is this? Oh, these are four different puzzles. Well, obviously, this is the left half. And this is the right half. Okay. I'm glad to be back. Hieroglyphics take me back to university. I was the only one in that arcane text class. Uh. Looks like the language is divided into different groupings of symbols for different types of objects the civilization civilization found important. The rest of the syndicate can't decode these. They have keys coded to the specific machines they're allowed to access. Don't test me. So we're the only one that can somehow decode this? The data on the nightmare computers is tamper-proof, sealed machines that hook into the fabric of the island. There'll be more on the island that I can unlock. The judge said they need me down on the island. The people that exiled me are dead. I need to find out the who, how, and why. Time to fall into a pit of crime, a leap of faith into the sun-drenched abyss of memories, secrets, and crime. I like that. Sun-drenched abyss. Like, that's like an oxymoron, right? Like, how can an abyss be sun-drenched? But she's saying it's abyss because it's like a pit of memory secrets and crime. You know, I, I don't have to break that down for you guys. You guys are smarter than me, but I like that. All right. Um, so we can use this again. I don't think it's going to do anything. And we're just going to Tears of the Kingdom down here, right? So that's the island. I get a little bit of mist vibes looking at that, don't you guys? Just a little bit. Is there some influence here from this? Because it totally seems that way with these domes. All right, let's drop down. Can I, I can't control myself. Let's fall here then. Okay, music. All of these are probably going to be copyright claimed, and that's fine. Paradise Killer. I wanted to hear more of that music. We're at the Paradise Gates. Oh my. Okay, so this is what we were seeing, the symbology up where we were exiled. So we were exiled onto just that little platform. For three million days? Oh, and the birds kind of just pop into existence. It's a bit concerning. Paradise Gates. Passage to the next island sequence. Gates are in lockdown until I solve this case. So are is it going to be 
individual cases per island sequence. That's what it seems like, right? Our leader, Montserrat Breaker. Right, he's dead. At least we were told he's dead. We can sprint. I'm not going to yet. I'm just kind of looking around. Kind of getting the vibe of this place. Can we crouch? Uh, no, but we get starlight augmented vision when we hit control. Is this where people are? Certainly. Okay. Looks like some characters here. Delicious new premium beer from Crimson Acid and Dead Nebula. Okay, cool. What's in here? Blood crystal obtained. We got a blood crystal. Uh, apparently we can have more than one of these. A prized unit of currency. Hold on, I'm about to sneeze. Sorry about that. Alright, demonic corruption threatens us all. Okay. Perfect 25 is coming. Oh, that's the next iteration. It's supposed to be perfect, right? Okay, I could do without the sound effects while jumping. Devotion rewards. Okay, that's some furry stuff. Not judging if you're into that. 100% cool for you, but uh, not necessarily for me. Okay, so we have 2D sprites in a 3D world. I thought it was just the demon that was going to be that way. So there's a save point. Saving a record of your existence is free and easy and leads to a happier paradise. Sure. Getting saved. Wow, that took a while to save, considering how simple this game seems to be. Seems, I said. Uh, Lydia Daybreak. Before I talk to you, should we do this? You know what, let's talk to her. She's probably going to say she's stuck over here. Lydia, it's been too long. Oh yeah, we did mention we were going to talk to Lydia. I'm glad you're back, LD. Okay. Okay, so the computer's kind of like filling us in. Hey, if you don't remember, this is your oldest friend. Born in Wana Falls, Kenya in AD 1001 under the sign of Beautiful Spectre. Syndicate's fairy woman, responsible for transporting the Syndicate to New Island sequences. After an uninteresting childhood spent in worship of the beautiful Spectre, she enlisted in the army during her teens. Lydia became known as a Titan Killer after she successfully defended a temple complex from three monstrosities born from beyond the stars. She retired from the world of assassination when she met Sam Daybreak, fleeing to join the Syndicate together. Sure. Thanks, Starlight. What are you talking about, Elsie? Starlight's giving you the full 101, huh? I've been in exile for three million days. She obviously thinks I need a refresher. Let's just notice this is a like connection cable that she is holding from the computer. It's got a ring around her neck. All right. I need to not look too much into that. What did I miss? Evil stuff, LD. Evil stuff, Last, LD. Night, was Last night was a killer. Council were killed just as the next island was born. Word is a killer got into their building and took a knife to them. How? How are you feeling? Messed up, LD. This is the worst. The islands need an investigator. You shouldn't have been exiled, LD. We need you down here. Judge told me to bring you to them. <laughs> was it you? Are you the killer? Can we wrap this up quickly? Good talk, Andy. Straight into the in investigating. Nah, I was partway through the drop-off at the Paradise Gates. You can check the logs. One thing before we go, LD. I can ferry you around the island if you need me to. Save your feet from a hike. If you need a pickup, call me on one of the phones. The phones are deactivated since it's the end of the island, so you'll need to fire them up again. I already activated this phone for you in case you need to come back here. Fairy woman reporting All right, fairy for woman duty. reporting for duty. Time to ride, LD. <laughs> I didn't want to go. In your interdimensional car. So this is like 
cyberpunk mixed with cosmic horror and maybe even like theocracy on earth it's like some Christian symbolism going on here maybe some other religions as well see belts on right hand drive okay I was exile three million days just flies past cheer up buttercup back on the island now back in the game uh, let's go nostalgic the old days it's been so long since we rode together Lydia I miss the old days I know those girls used to get shit done it was fun back in the day have you ever been all good life has been relaxed we got a cat it's a bengal i call it dagger i think i missed a line of dialogue there trying to click i'm sorry you still painting uh-huh each island is more beautiful than the last i like to capture them before they go i like your perfume by the way oh thanks ld pretty one isn't it it's a unique blend that i got made especially it's nice i'll have to get some on the next island Sorry, LD. The blend is my own secret recipe. We're almost there. Go and speak to Judge. If you want to hang, I'll be on the pier. It's been so long since I performed an investigation. You getting the fire back? I was born to investigate. It never left. I was born to investigate. Go get him, LD. All right, here we are in the courthouse. 24th Island sequence bringing life back into paradise and that is going to do it for this episode thanks for watching let me know what you think so far if you enjoy my content please consider a like a comment and our subscribe stay tuned for the next episode we'll see you then bye bye